Well, with everything that's been going on, my son got married this past month. It was a really beautiful ceremony, and I was especially happy to be able to travel up with my mother to have her see her grandson get married. And you know what? We were even able to use the baskets I made last Easter for the flower girl baskets. I knew these would come in handy. Now, while I was looking at wedding decorations, I ran across this beautiful crystal glass candle opera. So in today's show, I want to show you how I made my own version, including a mirror base, using the pieces that you can find at the dollar store. To make my candle centerpiece, I'm using four seven and a half inch glass cylinder vases, four long stem glass tea candle holders, or instead of using a long stem holders, you could use different combinations of these taper glass candle holders. I'm using five small glass candlestick holders, four or five inch square mirror candle holders, and I'm using an acrylic cutting board. All of these items I got from Dollar Tree. And to put everything together, I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. Okay, so you can't see it here, but my inspiration piece does have a mirror base. It looks like it's round. Um, I found these square five inch mirrors at Dollar Tree, and these are to hold candles. Um, so I'm gonna put four of them together to make a larger piece. I want my base to look like this. So next I'm going to turn these over to remove these little pieces at the bottom. I want the bottom pieces to be flat so that I could attach them from the bottom. So I'm going to just line these up into one big square. And I'm using a small cutting board. I'm going to attach this to the bottom part of the mirrors, the flat side facing the bottom. And this cutting board already has little feet on it, so this will be a good bottom for my base. But first I'm going to put little pieces of masking tape on the edges just to keep this together while I glue the bottom on the base. I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip glue, and I'm going to put a square right here in the center, enough to go around that um, center area, and then I'm going to glue all the way around the edges and just some squiggly lines in the center and I'm centering that right on top of the four mirrors right in the center I'm pressing that down I'm gonna put some weights on here and set this aside to dry while I work on my other pieces on my inspiration piece, the candle and the cylinders are, seem to be standing on these long, thin cylinder poles. And for that, to simulate that, I'm going to use these stem tea candles at different sizes. The candle opera is at different heights. So I'm um, going from small to large. The largest one here is not large enough, so I'm going to add... A smaller candle holder at the bottom of this one so let's do that now I'm using this small candle stick holder and I'm gonna put some glue around the top of the rim of this one I am using Gorilla clear grip glue and what I'm gonna do is attach the largest one to this bottom piece I'm going to turn this upside down because I want to use the flat bottom part, which is the bottom of this tea candle, at the top to attach my um, cylinder. And I want to make sure that this is completely straight, so I'm turning this around, looking at it at every angle and positioning it. I'm also turning it upside down to look inside to make sure that it is centered in there because it's really important that it's straight when I attach my pieces you can even use a level if you have to okay so while the taller stem is drying I'm going to start attaching my glass cylinder vases to these stems 
And like I said, I'm using a bottom part of these stem tea glasses to attach to the bottom of the cylinder just because it's flat it'll be easier to attach it. I'm adding Gorilla Clear Grip glue to the bottom edge and I'm just going to sit and center the cylinder on top. And I'm going to look from the top and make sure that it's absolutely centered on there and just adjust it as I go around as I turn it around. And now I'll just attach the other pieces. So I have the stem now attached to all my pieces. I have four pieces. My inspiration piece has six, but they're really long and thin. One of the things I love about this inspiration piece is that it has candle holders inside of the cylinders. So it gives it a really nice, different, elegant look. I couldn't find candle holders that were small enough to fit inside thin cylinders, so I'm using bigger cylinders. And because I'm using bigger cylinders, I'm only using four of them. Now for the glass candle holders that will go inside the cylinders, I'm using these small candlestick holders. And I'm going to place them inside right in the center, upside down. This way I'll be able to hold bigger candles. And also again, you wanna make sure this is perfectly centered. So make sure you have a good grip on this piece with at least three fingers. And I'm going to just sort of tilt the back part of it against the glass and slide it down. I'm careful not to get any glue on the edges. I'm gonna place that down right in the center and adjust it and turn it with my hand to make sure it's centered. Again, I wanna look inside to make sure it's even on all sides. So I'm just gonna turn it and adjust it. I want that piece to be right over the stem. And the inside piece doesn't have the same shape as my inspiration piece, but it is a nice, elegant, interesting shape. Now, one thing I do need to warn you about these pieces um, the nice cylinder neck is really elegant, as you can see in the inspiration piece, but these are very fragile because the neck is so thin and because it's top heavy. If it falls over, I guarantee it probably will break. So you have to be very careful with these. I wouldn't do a whole lot of them for an event. Maybe just the bride and groom's table. Or if you want to use these for an event and you want to use them on all the tables, I suggest that you do a different base neck, like something like these. Dollar Tree also has these candlestick holders, and you can use one for the shortest piece. You can stack them and make taller pieces. You can even add these smaller candle holders in between to make different sizes and because it is thick it will be stronger. This is a piece that I used and made different sizes of using the, the thicker candle holders and it's held up very nicely. It's very sturdy. I used it for several events. Now the main reason I am using a thinner necks right now is because I want this to look like the inspiration piece and I really do love the way it looks. I will be using these on my dinner table and I think they'll be fine there. It's a steady strong table and I'll have adults there so I think it will be fine. But like I said, if you are using this for an event, you have to be careful because they are fragile and I just wanted to warn you about that. Okay, so my mirror base is finished drying and I think I'm going to display this at an angle, like a diamond shape. And I'll place my pieces in the center of each square. I'm not going to glue these to the base because they will, it will be really heavy and it would be a lot easier as separate pieces if I wanted to wrap them and transport them somewhere else. 
And this is looking very lovely and elegant. So now let's add some candles. In the inspiration piece, it looks like they have the two inch votive candles and these fit perfectly in here. At the base, there's also a floral arrangement. So for my piece, I'm gonna just add a bouquet of white roses right at the feet of the mirror. I think that looks really nice and elegant. Now the votive candles do look really nice in here. They make a strong, bold statement, but because they are so big and they're a little high up in the glass, they tend to singe the glass on the edges here after it starts burning for a little while. Also, these candles will melt inside the little vaults here and will probably trail on the outside of the vaults, leaving a big wax mess when it's um, burned out, which may be impossible to clean out if you wanna use this again. So even though these candles look really beautiful with this, what I would suggest is to use tea candles. The tea candles that are encased in a little um, tin, they also fit perfectly in here. When they are lit, they're a lot more subtle. They won't make a huge flame and they won't singe the edges of the glass but it is also beautiful and very elegant. The tea candles will burn for three hours, but the best thing about this is when it's completely burned out, you can just take the tin out and throw it away. And your piece stays nice and clean and ready to use again. These will be really beautiful on a Christmas table or in a meditation room. But right now, I think I'm gonna go set this up on my table and decorate for Thanksgiving. So until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Want more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store, for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. You can now get separate e-project booklets and also full color printed project booklets will be available on Amazon. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.